Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Nino Kuni episode. Last time we had left off, we had just made it through the uh, Golden Grove, and right then, Ali boy, I reckon it's <clears throat> there's some proper nasty monsters around here. Don't try to be hard, man, and take them all at once. Just hurry up and get to Al Mamun. I ain't it. Okay. Okay. So we need to. Okay. Follow the star. And if we look. Oh. Okay. We have a ways to go. We're in the desert, aren't we? Oh, there's an there's another path. It looks like to like the the sea or something. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. We'll keep going. Let's just go. Let's go. Can I capture these guys, by the way? No, 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 no! Oh, he Naruto ran. Do you see that? Clever Come Cub. On. Hi, Clever Cub. Run away. <laughs> Run away. Oh, gosh. What kind are you? You are a son. So, oh, defend. Oh, he, he just leveled up. Okay. Uh, let's do the spells and let's try a fireball. Go. That does 15. Uh, what about like a... Oh, I can't do a frostbite. Oh no. Um, fine. Go get him, Jason. Oh, one, one, ten. Oh gosh. Oh, switch. And you, run away. Run away. No. I meant to... Uh. Jason, I blame you for this. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, okay. We will continue. You will lose 10% of your money? No. Return to the title screen. We weren't that far in. We, we were not that far. We're not, we're not doing that. Okay, so. Continue. We'll just jump straight in where we left off. You know, that's something else. Like, um, if I die really close to a place that I saved, then... All right, Jippy. We've, we've heard your dialogue. And I, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to quit. And go back. Oh, gosh. Stay far away from them. Okay. Hey, oh, gosh. He's coming towards me. Okay. Here we go. Don't go down there, Mr. Drippy. Skeletons. Skeletal beast. Skeletor. Wait, is there something in there? No. I guess if we don't fight, we're gonna, not going to get any stronger, right? So. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to go around the rock. Go around. Oh, that's not a tree. That is a, a walking bush. Oh, no. Don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see nothing. <sighs> Getting tired out here in this desert. I'm not seeing any sparkly things either, so. I don't know if I just don't see them or what's going on. But I'm really excited to get to Alamamoon. Alamamoon. If I'm saying it right. By the way, to everyone that's actually following this series and still watching it, thank you. I, I really appreciate... Oh, turn around. I didn't want him hitting me from the back. Oh, gosh. We can do this! Okay. Um, I'm just going to send you out right off the bat. Get him. Get him, Jeff Jack. Okay. Uh, let's hit B, and we're gonna do defend. Nice. Grab that, and do a sandblast. Okay, that did not do much. What can you do? Show me. Show me what you can do. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, no, hit B. Switch, switch, run away, run away, run away. Oh gosh! Uh, 
provisions, provisions. Oh my gosh, the cat is so fast. Stop running towards me. No, Mr. Drippy, help. Give me that health. Give me the health. Thank you. Ah! Miss, missed. Oh, hit. Dude, run away. Um, yeah, eat it. Yes. Okay. Get him. Oh my gosh. We, we did it! We better get a lot of experience points for that. That cat was hard. Sorry, clubber cat. Or clubber clubber cub. 49 experience. Uh, I don't know if the fight was worth it. Alright, let's go. Al Mamoon. And I'm out of coffee. No. No coffee for the cold. Amamun, court of the Caliphate. Uh, Cal Cal Califa. Oh, it's hot. You can tell. Here we are, Amamun. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's different from Ding Dong Dell, huh? Well, of course it flipping is. It's slap bang in the middle of the desert for a start. Mmm. What's that delicious smell? That's the babanas, isn't it? Babanas are what Alma Moon's famous for, see? Never eaten a fruit like it. Gorgeous they are. Tell you what, I'm starving. Fancy a babana split? Really? They're that good, huh? Wow. Too flipping right they are. This place was built on the babana trade. There's tasty fruit. Okay, let's try some. Before we go bana babanas, though, <coughs> we should try and find Rasha Rashad? Ain't it? <clears throat> it's what we came here for, after all. You're right. We should ask around and find out if anyone knows him. Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you know where I can find the great sage Rashad? Rashad? The great sage Rashad? It's been a long time since we've called him, uh, called by that name. These days, you would be better to ask for Rashad, the seller of Babanas. He sells Babanas! Oh, wait, that's Oliver. He sells Babanas? You mean he's not a sage anymore? But getting him to teach me about magic was the whole reason for us coming here. Hmm, there's worrying. Still, we were after a Babana split anyway, so might as well shop and stop by and see what's what. See what's what, ain't it? I guess. Okay, let's go find Rashad. I think it's Rashad. Is this the place? What is this place? This is the weapon shop. First things first, let's see. Caw! A customer! I don't mean to crow, but our wares are the finest in the land. Don't get... Don't get caught short. <coughs> caught. <laughs> Now, grab some of our exclusive items before they fly out the door. The puns, man, the puns. Okay, bone sword. A sword made from a large piece of bone. Uh, not as sharp as metal weapons, perhaps, but considerably lighter. Let's see, uh, that gives plus 10, that's plus four and plus four and plus two. Plus nine, plus 19, but minus five. Plus seven, plus three. So who can use these? Okay, so what do you currently have? This would give him 39. He's currently at 35 and 23. This one put him up to 45. This one put him up to 39. He can't use the other stuff, can he? I don't know. I, I would go with the attack more than I would the magical attack. Okay, so let's go ahead and purchase this for um, Jazz Jack. There we go. And then can the fairy Jason? Can, Jason, I think you can only wield the flint spear. So, let's go ahead and purchase that for you. 
and then we will go ahead and equip it. So it gives you a little bit of a minus to your uh, your magical attack, but that's fine. Now, what can you use? You can use claws. So you're at 40, this will put you up to 47. We'll go ahead and purchase that for you. Yes. Good. Um, nobody can wear that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That would give you 23. You're at 19. That'd put you up to 23. That'll put you up to 22 and 28. That'll put you up to 32. That's, that's only one difference. 39 to 43. Oof. Okay. I, I kind of want to get that because it'll help him. There we go. Yes, we want to equip it. There we go. And we'll go... Who can, who can wear this? And prevent knockdowns when HP are high. Plus one to magical attack and magical defense. Plus one to accuracy and one to speed. Plus two to shield, but nobody can wear this except me. Battler's badge. Give plus two to defense. Cost 400. That would leave me with 78. No, I'm good. I'm good. I think... Let's see. What can I sell? Can I sell... This... Hold on. This is not equipped, right? Wooden shield is what we used before. Let's go ahead and sell that. There we go. And I don't think we have any of those on. Who's welding this right now? Anyone? Anyone? I don't know. Hmm. We could sell these, but I think I want, I want to. Prices are raving mad. Okay, fine. Your prices are raving mad. Okay, let's look around real quick. Any chests I can open? Ooh, nice boots. Jumpy jump, jumpy jump. It's faster than, than just walking. Okay. Nothing I can do in here. Let's go. Okay. Let's ask around. Hello. You are not of this realm, are you, child? Are you a traveler, perhaps? If you wish to sample our famed and most delicious papanas, you must follow the road to the end. Okay. Who are you? Welcome, welcome. All of our produce is very freshest. You are visitors to our city, are you not? Then I shall give you most magnificent discount. Okay. How about you? If my senses do not deceive me, you are a wizard. Am I correct? No. Which means you must be a hero to see here to see Rashad. So sorry, child. I fear Rashad is uh, no matter. Oh, great. Okay, fine. Your clothes are most unique, stranger. Are you not terribly hot? No, I'm good. I think. Oh, we can see through there. Hello. You must be a guard. Greetings. Greetings. Alma Moon offers its most humble of welcomes. Traversing the desert is most tiring. You must enjoy our hospitality for a while, continuing your, your journey. Thank you. All right, it said to go down to the end of the street. I take it this this street. Hello. Oh my, it's just too hot for me here. What's that? A uh, mamuni like me should be used to the heat by now. I am no mamuni. I am a dear friend. Uh, I am. I'm from dear old Ding Dong Ding Dong Dell. Oh, I could tell by the clothes. You look out of place, just like me. Hello. How about you? Uh, cheek of spice? People of the world, come spice up your lives. Okay. Let's go in here. What's this? What's this place? What is this? Hello? Oh, it's this task giver. 
Welcome to Swiss Solutions, where those in need come to watch the worries fly away. The weather may be hot, but not everyone is relaxing in the sunshine. There's still problems out there that need solving. Alright, bounty hunts. Vegetable thief. Uh, a griffin seem... Wait, a griffin keeps stealing the produce from the farmers. Fields outside of town. It has to be dealt with quickly. It's nearly harvest time. Um, the rewards are a well-worn sword and 50 guilders. Yep, we'll take it. Yeah, we're gonna take all the task. Thank you. And we're just gonna take this one. I don't even know what it is. Uh, oh, here we go. North uh, of Golden Grove, the Rolling Hills Summerland. That is where they were last seen. A winged beast is tormenting travelers, making their way into the town. It must be dealt with before it injures someone. We get salted ice cream and 40 guilders and two stamps. Claim bounties. Nothing, nothing to claim yet. Uh, I don't have any merit stamps collected. I gotta get two more at least. All right, let's go check the board. People with more troubles than they can swallow. I did place notice the board. Aaron, blah 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 blah. That's, that's exactly what I was gonna do, sir. I was, I was on my way. A pair of traveling merchants have been uh, seen having an intense discussion with an Almamoon. Talk to the merchants, ask them what's wrong. Oh, I can't accept them from here, can I? A young woman in Almamoon seems very worried indeed about something her husband has forgotten. An elderly merchant near the milk fountain in Almamoon appears to be worried about something. Go and listen to what the merchant has to say. Okay, the details have been added. Come on, travel, travel. Travel and run. Okay, let's take a look at the map real quick. So there's the three, and then there's somebody that has um, extra heart. So the person in green... No, 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 the star. I need to go to the star. So let's go to the star. Slow down there, kid. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I will soon compete in the Oasis races. I must practice all I can, or I shall not win. Okay, kid, keep running. Hello. Milk, milk, get your coolest, freshest milk in all the city. Fresher than any others of merchants. Very competitive this place is. Right. Should start a milk guild. You are the person with extra heart, aren't you? I shall come back for you. Hello. Excuse me, are you Mr. Rashad? Oh, that's yes, right. Rashad. I am. Mr. Rashad, sir. I need you to teach me magic. I need you to teach me the most powerful spells there are, so I can defeat Shadar. Defeat Shadar? You? Yes, sir. Your journey has been wasted. I no longer practice the magic arts. Oh. Huh? But why not? I thought you were one of the four great sages who knows everything there is to know about magic. It matters not what I was. I use magic no more. Is she... What do you want? Who are you? Cheevers. The poor thing's broken-hearted, looks like. <sighs> Shudar stole a piece of her heart. It was my fault. I defied him, and to punish me, he did this. That is why I fight no longer. I cannot risk my child's life. I will not. We must accept our fate and live out our days in peace. Mr. Rashad, sir, you're wrong. She wouldn't want this. <clears throat> She's not in pain because a piece of her heart was stolen. It's because you gave up fighting. Because you gave up on everything. That's why she's in pain. Hmm. You are sure of this? Yes, I am. I'm getting messaged. <laughs> I see. I see now that you would say anything to enlist my aid. Huh? Be gone! You're making a mistake. I wasn't trying to... Well. <clears throat> well, he wasn't wrong. It looks like Shadar's stolen a part of the poor dab's heart. Then we have to help her. We have to make her heart whole again. Nah, looks like I said this is different. Huh? Her heart's not just broken, it's closed. Closed? What closed. does that mean? 
It's like this, see? She's not just had a part of her heart stolen, she's closed it up tight too, to keep the rest safe like. So, before we can think about replacing what's missing, we'll have to open it back up again, innit? And how do we do that? We go to your world. If we find whoever she's connected to by there, we can work out what's going on with her by her. So, we head over you away and find her soulmate. All right, let's do it. Right, though. Back to you world it is. Okay. We got ten minutes to do so. So, um, first things first, let's see. Let's go to our spells list and just cast Gateway right off the bat. No sense in waiting around. Woo! And off we go. Into our world. So, where do we start this search, eh? You remember how this works, ain't it, Ali boy? It's all about spotting the similarities. Somewhere around here, there's someone who is similar to the young Esther. Esther? Esther? In some way. Now, what girls do you know? G girls? <laughs> uh, I don't really talk to girls. Mainly I talk to Phil. Crikey! Well, that's no good, is it? <laughs> how are we going to do this, then? Uh, I'm sure there's somebody she reminds me of. Can't quite put your finger on it, eh? Never mind. If brain work won't work, leg work will. Let's go for a stroll around the town and see if we can spot Esther's soulmate that way, shall we? Okay, Mr. Drippy. Let's go find that girl. <laughs> Just me and the, the little king of the fairies. Uh, oh, oh, hey! There's a star. Ah, I knew the game wouldn't throw me off like that. Okay. I know right where to go, Mr. Drippy. How's that, lad? Because there's a star on my map. <laughs> Great! Hey, I just thought... What's up, man? You having a nice time thinking about girls, is it? <laughs> huh? No, I just... <laughs> when I used to come here to look at Phil's garage, there was a girl. She was always looking at us from the window. From her window, eh? Sounds like a proper shrinking violet. Shrinking violet? I don't know what that is. I guess so. That's the window up there. <gasps> oh, that's her, Mr. Drippy. Flippin' heck, Ali boy. Why didn't you think of her straight away? She's the spitting image of her man. Huh? Of who? Who do you flip and think? Do you blockhead? <laughs> the great sage's daughter, ain't it? The one who's obviously her flippin' soulmate. It's that obvious? I I never noticed. You sure have good eyes, Mr. Drippy. She was only in the window for a second. Never underestimate the razor sharp eyes of a fairy man, boy. My boy. Spot a speak spot a speck of dust on the head of a pin I could. <laughs> anyway, it's her and no mistake. Let's go and barge our way into her bedroom. Uh okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one there. We're just gonna go say hello. Follow the star. Follow the star. Oh, it's a puppy! Hold on! Hey, pupper! Hi, puppy! Arf, wolf, girl! Alright. Guess you don't want to talk, then. Do, 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 do. Knock, knock! Hello? Hmm? It's no good. There's no answer. Is something the matter, dear? There's nobody home, you know. Um, I need to speak to the girl who lives here. You're a friend of Myrtle's? Oh, you poor dear. You must be awfully worried about her. Huh? Oh my, you haven't heard? Well, just between you and I, things haven't been going well for Material's family. Myrtle, Myrtle's Myrtle, Myrtle, like turtle, only with a M Y at the front. Myrtle, 
I'm going to call her Myrtle. Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> I was just sitting here minding my own business when a book fell through my head. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Harry Potter reference. Uh, Myrtle's family lately. Uh, how come? Her father works every hour of every single day. Nothing but work, work, work. He's never home anymore. Such a shame. Rusty was always such a, such a devoted father. But something happened to him, and he's changed. I never, I hear him shouting at them through the walls. I don't know how poor Betty copes, copes, let alone young Myrtle. Such a, such a shame. Betty is, that's right, dear. She's Rusty's wife, and she's every bit as devoted to him as she always was. Why, only this morning I heard her promising to bring his lunch to him down at the garage. All the love she pours into the, those sandwiches, it's enough to break your heart. Why, I'm welling up just thinking about it. Such a kind soul. Poor, poor Betty. I have half a mind to tell that rusty cart right just how lucky he is. Jeepers. Oh, just listen to me gossiping on and on. Ah, do ignore me, dear. I'm just a silly old woman. Say hello to Myrtle for me, won't you? Crikey, sounds like things are none too rosy in the Cartwell household, eh? Mr. Drippy, we can't leave her like that. We have to help her. We have to help Myrtle. That's easier said than done, Ollie boy. She's not coming out for a chat. We're not getting in unless we go magicking through the door open. You're right. We should use magic to open the door. I'm the only one who knows how. I'm the only one who can go in there and speak to her. You sure want to bring be doing this, Mon. When Mom died, I... If you hadn't taken me over to your world when I thought I was all alone, if you hadn't helped me, I'd still be alone right now. That's why I have to help Myrtle. If we don't, she'll be left staring out of that window forever, all alone. That's justification enough for a bit of breaking and entering in my book. Let's get in there. Don't ever do this in real life, okay? Well, okay, I'll make an exception. If you can cast magic on a door to open it up, then, you know, you might have a little bit of leeway. But don't do this in real life. No breaking and entering. Okay, Mr. Jippy. We're just, we're just going to cast the spell on the door, aren't we? All right. Um, spring lock. Here we go. Huh? It won't open. Uh, that's proper weird. A rubbish little lock like that shouldn't have popped undone easy peasy. Hmm. Hmm. What's wrong, Mr. Drippy? It's the door, man. There's an evil power protecting it. Your spell didn't fail. It was repelled by a malevolent force. W repelled? Jeepers. Must be the girl, ain't it? She's the soulmate of the sage's daughter, after all. You think? So what do we do? I tell you what. We don't do carry on trying to get in by the front door. It's not exactly polite to be barging into somebody's, uh, some people's houses anyway. You're right. I guess we'll have to find another way. The dog. Go get the dog. Oh, wait, actually. <laughs> we have a star. Oh, hello. Hey. Was that? P. Hey, maybe. Huh? What's going on, Ollie boy? Maybe P knows something. Uh. What the. F what? <laughs> Whoa. What the flippin' heck's going on? Let's go say hi to Pete. Hi, P. Oliver, you have to go in there. Okay. Oliver, you have to go in there. Right. Um, hold on. What's the uh, cooking growth rejuvenate spirit medium? Can't talk. Okay, fine. It's open. How the flip? Did you do another spell or something? No, it wasn't me. It was P. She was... Uh. Huh? Where'd she go? 
Never mind all that. Let's get in there, shall we? There's a damsel in distress up there, man. Hello. Who are you? My name's Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm a kid from right here in Motorville. Just like you. I know. I've seen you. You have? I'm sick. I can't leave this room. If I go outside, it hurts. So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. That's why they call us Steady Mary. Shh! Don't worry, man. No one can hear me by you. I can talk as loud as I want! Yes. That's why they call me Steady Mary. Huh? Tricky! Can she hear me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? Uh, uh, I... I bet you think I'm weird, don't you? No, I, I don't. It's okay. I don't mind. You should go before my father comes home. Uh... Oi, come here a sec. This is proper weird. I've looked as hard as I know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean, you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course I can tell. So what is wrong with her? Well, whatever sickness she had might be gone, but something still got a hold over the poor dam. Hmm. What is it? Oh, um, uh, nothing. I'm gonna come see you again. Okay, Myrtle? Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. How does that sound? Oliver... You can't. Huh? My father won't allow it. <gasps> the father. Leave. But Myrtle... That's the problem. It's just like you said, Mr. Drippy. It's almost like Myrtle and Ether are the same person. Ain't it, though? <clears throat> they could be twins, man. I knew you were so... Uh, I knew they were soulmates the moment I laid eyes on her. But she ain't brokenhearted. There's something else stopping her from getting better. It must be her parents. Her, her family is. If that old gossip... If that old gossip is to be believed, yeah. It sounds like her folks are getting, getting on too well ain't getting on too well. But are family squabbles really the kind of thing that we want to go uh, getting mixed up in, Ollie boy? Maybe not, but we have to help Myrtle. Family is important. It's everything. Well, since you put it like that, go on then. Let's help the poor dab out. Next stop, Rusty's shop. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. I'm gonna go take care of Rusty right now. You, you mean... This is actually hitting like really close to a lot of families, a lot of homes and stuff like that, so. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> this here must be Rusty's garage. Oh, this here must be Rusty's garage. I got a bad feeling in my lantern about this. You'd best be sure you're good and ready before you go in. Okay, Mr. Drippy. Uh, does he mean like, uh, hold on. Let's, yeah, let's drink some coffee. I'm gonna drink another coffee. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, everything else is equipped, right? We should be equipped, baby. Ice cream. I don't know if I can... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go, let's go... Is it this one? Yeah, there we go. Let's feed you. We're gonna increase your attack. Nom 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 nom. Nice. Do it again! Eat it, buddy! Yeah. yeah! One more! Yeah. Woo! His fullness. Look at his fullness. Oh, gosh. Increase accuracy, accuracy, evasion. A sweetie pie? Where's accuracy? It's currently 45. Whoa! Went right up there, didn't it? 
You know what? I'm just going to dump it all into this guy. He's going to be our, our main fighter. What does fullness mean? Is he only able to, like, eat so much before he can never eat anything again? I wonder. There we go. He's almost, like, completely full. I want to see if we can fill him up. We'll just, we'll just feed this all to you. Give you some more defense. I'm not going to be able to feed you anymore, am I? It's full. I'm going to try. He appears to be full up. Alright, so let's, uh, let's go get this guy. Let's go ahead and eat that. You liked it, didn't you? Don't worry, Jason. I'm going to give you one, too. Shiminiminiminin. Uh, that's good. That's good for you. Uh, let's hold back and let's try you. Nom noms. Good job, Jason. We're gonna give you one more. One more. There we go. You're gonna be so defenseful. You're gonna be my little defender. There we go. All the treats are gone. All treats are full. Rusty's auto repair. Whoa. This must be Rusty's garage, eh, Ollie boy? <clears throat> that must be him over there. I guess so, huh? Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you Myrtle's father? I came to ask you about her. Can't you see I'm busy? Beat it, kid! Uh, what's that swirling around him? Oh, sorry. Uh, what's that swirling around him? Nah, can't be. Hello, Mrs. Myrtle's, um, mother? Honey, I brought your lunch. Not this again. I'm not hungry. But honey, if you don't eat, you'll get sick. I said I'm not hungry, dude. I'm I'm straight I will gateway you to another realm. Okay, honey. Just look after yourself, please. No. So that's what that was Myrtle's mom, huh? You two get out of here before I throw you out. But but sir, we Oh yeah, he stinks. He stinks like bad evilness. Crikey, look at those eyes. Broken as heck. His heart is. He's heartbroken, but... Wait, sorry, this is Oliver. He's heartbroken, but he's not from your world, Mr. Drippy. Let's not worry. Let's worry about that later. For now, you know what the problem is. We need to mend Rusty's broken heart, ain't it? I guess we do. Don't worry, sir. We're going to help you. Eek! You're kidding me. A flippin' nightmare. A flippin' nightmare. Now we're for it. Now we're for it. Okay. A nightmare? You mean like a bad dream? Nah, man. Much worse. A nightmare is an evil spirit that latches onto a broken hearted. The, uh, see the black misty stuff? That's how you'll know. This mist is getting darker. That can mean only one thing. It isn't good news. Okay. It's because you forgot to eat your sandwich, Rusty. Whoa. Hello. Mystical ball of darkening death. Let go, Rusty. Rusty's Nightmare. Void of Kindness. <laughs> Why does he look like a Muppet? Get him, buddy. Oh, nine, ten, nine, eight. Every time I strike him, it seems to be something coming out. What happened? What happened there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are those things like... 
Okay, don't run into the misty stuff. Hard heart. Oof, I'm blinded. But I can still run. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go to the spells. How about some frostbite? How's this work? Oh, that, that worked pretty well. That gave you 26, didn't it? Let's do that again. 25. Let's get some provisions going on. Eat a sandwich. Good. Is he too far away? Does he not know to attack me? Let's try a fireball. 14. Not as not as good, but still pretty good. Alright. Do right frostbite. 26. And that's I think that was the last. Nope, we can do two more. Frostbite. Oh, thank you, Mr. Drippy. Appreciate it. You missed. You missed. Frostbite again. And I think that was the last one. Uh, I should be able to do a fireball, but it's not going to be as powerful. It's fine. Boom. Oh, oh, there you are. Oh, hold on. I need to go defend. I hope the defend works. Nice. Okay, so now I should be able to go... Oh. Search. <laughs> Get him, Jet Jack. Get him. Nine, eight, nine, seven, nine. All right, it's time to cut loose and go wild. Oh, I, I can't, can I? Ooh. Ooh, he's hitting me into the stuff. Get away from him. Get away from him. Defend. How's my health doing? We took four. Okay, okay, okay. Switch, and we'll go to provisions. Eat a sandwich. Hurry, hurry! Eat it! Nice. Uh, foul something? I don't know what that was. Uh, but we can cast fireball again. Or the ice. Nice! Um. Okay, Jason. Show me what you got, dude. I trust you. I trust you. Get him. Get him. Now is your chance. Did you get him? Oh my goodness! Get him! Get him, Jason! Dude, you're missing. There you go. Good job, little buddy. <laughs> that was awesome. A hundred, two hundred, three hundred and twenty experience points. What? Everybody leveled up on that one. Nice. Honey. Nah, Betty, stay away from me. His heart's still broken. Of course it is. We only got rid of the Nightmare Man. Mending his heart's a whole nother problem. Uh, Mr. Drippy, the Nightmares. Uh, just what are they? Well, they're sort of like beasties, only they're born from broken hearts. And they latch onto them, um, and sort of possess them? See? And Shadar is behind the Nightmares, too? Look at them, Holly Boy. Him and Rashad are like peas from the same pod, ain't it? What Shadal's done, he's got the better of Rashad over in our world by attacking his soulmate over here in your world. That's just awful. He's attacking people in my world now. Looks like a day. And if we don't mend his heart, he might be getting over by another nightmare. He might be taken over by another nightmare. We need to sort this out, Ollie boy. You saw what it was like before, ain't it? It's pretty obvious that what he's missing is a, is a man-sized helping of kindness. Kindness. Gee. That's right. Anyone overflowing with the milk of human kindness spirit on mind, Ollie boy? A real kind person, huh? Honey. Oh, honey. Are you okay? Talk to me, please. Right there. 
Well, 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 sometimes the things that you're looking for pluck themselves right in front of your, your doorstep. There's Lucky. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> it's all over. Excuse me, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> it was the dialogue before I talked to the dialogue. Oh, why, you're... You're Allie's son. Uh, yes, that's right. I have something to ask you. Miss Cartwell, could I borrow a little bit of your kindness? Hmm? I'm sorry, dear. I don't think I quite... I need it to make Mr. Cartwell better. Cartwell. Cartwright. Wow. Better. Please, I need it so I can help him. I really don't have the first idea of what you're talking about. But if it stand... If it stands even the smallest chance of helping my husband, then sure, I'll do it. Thank you so much, Mrs. Cartwell. All right, take heart. Boom. Sorry, I know we've been going for 45 minutes. That's okay. Oh, we got a new piece. The warm, fuzzy gift of generosity. You obtained some kindness. Now, what happens if I put in the wrong kind? Well, what did you do? I feel almost warm inside. Tidy! That means it worked, ain't it? Now give some to Rusty. There's a good lad. Okay. Now we need to do... Oh, make sure I'm on this side. Betty, just, just leave me alone, will you? Come on, man. Hurry up. Hand over the kindness before another flippin' nightmare is on our hands. Okay. Give heart. Yibbing. That one right there. Enthusiasm. Or no, kindness. Kindness is what we're doing. Boo! All better. Nah. What are you doing? Nah. <laughs> honey? Oh, honey. Betty, what am I doing here? Did you do something with your hair? Oh, Rusty, you're looking very handsome yourself, honey. Tidy! It worked! Ah, marital bliss, eh? There's lovely. Excuse me, um... Oi, what do you think you're doing? This is no time for interrupting. Just leave him. It... Just leave him to it and go tell Myrtle everything's back to normal with her folks, shall we? I guess you're right. Let's go. Okay, fine. We won't interrupt. Actually, uh, I'm going to stop it right here. We're going to save, create a new slice of awesomeness like that. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Nino Kuni. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end. Should be a couple of links down there if you want to purchase the game yourself. It's out for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, I think you can still get it on PlayStation 3, but that's only if you have a PlayStation 3. And the Nintendo Switch. I just saw it the other day in Walmart, and I actually uh, I've got some links down there. Uh, disclaimer, I get paid if you use those links. So you don't have to use the links, but you know it gives you some cool directness to the game that you're watching. All right. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro.